Hi, this is Kwanisha Green, the founder of the Black Women Rise Movement, and I am so excited that we are launching our Black Women CEO podcast. As a Black Women CEO coach, I am starting this podcast because I want to bring to a new stage the successes and insights of Black Women CEOs. Yes, we're going to have those who have run Inc. 500 companies, <laughs> but we're also going to have the everyday sisters who are generating five to six figures, getting paid, doing what they love, sharing their genius with the world, and showcasing their expertise. So I'm excited. <laughs> I hope you're excited, and I can't wait to hear all your feedback as you hear these various stories. If you don't know a little bit about me, like I just said, I'm the founder of the Black Women Rise Movement. It's a movement that has touched so far over 4,000 women who really wanted to take charge of their lives through starting a business. My background is in social justice, community organizing, leadership development, all of these awesome things. I have a master's in social work. Um, let's see what else. I have master's in corporate life coaching. And I particularly support women who are highly educated, ambitious, and driven and want to make a smooth transition from being a full time employee to being eventually a full time entrepreneur. Because I know that you want to eventually work from home, whether because you have babies now or later. I know that you want to build a legacy, specifically a financial legacy. And most of all, I know you want to, I know you want to own your time and have success on your terms. So as a founder of the Black Woman Rise Movement, the Black Woman CEO Collective, as a Black Woman CEO Coach, I really help you to get unstuck so that you can really stop holding yourself back and get an action, right? And actually starting to manifest and actualize this vision that you have for starting a business or helping you grow a business to the point where you're generating consistent income. I've been excited that I've been able to have that success for myself when I was working part-time and now I'm a full-time entrepreneur. I've been a full-time entrepreneur as of this recording for two years when the last two years I've generated close to $90,000 in business revenue. And it's been really exciting. So through contracts, uh, private coaching, consulting, I've done a little bit of everything. And so in addition to me sharing the success stories of Black women CEOs, I'm also going to give you some of my own tips and tricks, right, to doing well in this game. So we're going to talk about self-care. We're going to talk about business strategy, right? We're going to talk about mindset. We're going to talk about systems. And most importantly, we're going to really talk about the key pieces you need to have in place so that you can consistently execute because you're not going to manifest your vision. You're not going to actualize your dreams unless you're in action. And as someone who has a background in social justice and a master's where I have really spent hundreds of hours studying the particular challenges of black women when it comes to leadership and entrepreneurship, you know, I'm going to talk from even the research space to tell you how this, um, you can say how some of our challenges show up because of our unique cultural, historical, and um, even familial structures and how it impacts us. So of course, black women, we're not a monolith, right? We're very diverse in our group. And uh, I want to say with that, though, there are some trends, you can say, right? Or commonalities. And that's why I talk about as you can say, as a group, right? From the research standpoint. And I have worked for women from the United States, from the East Coast to the West Coast, from Australia, from the UK. So Black women globally. And many of us have been socialized the same, right? Especially when we think about that image of the strong Black woman. So I don't want this intro to be too long, but I wanted to give you a taste of just what to expect. You know, these Black women CEO expert series, as well as the power strategies, the profit and power strategies I'm going to share with you is not the everyday knowledge. You know, we're going to go deeper into really how do you become the CEO of your life as well as your business. So we're talking about transforming you, helping you to rise 
into a new leadership structure so that you can generate profit, but also just have a better life, right? Really honor your purpose and organize your life so that you're fulfilling your purpose. So go ahead, click subscribe now so you get all the updates, like us, and leave a comment. Right? As you listen, leave a comment and share. Help another sister rise because we really are a collective. We're a community and we're helping people along the way. So make sure you go on Facebook and go to our Black Women CEO Circle. Make sure you go to blackwomenceo.com and check us out because we have blogs, we have articles, we have resources, and most importantly, we have trainings and workshops that are going to help you. And of course, over the series of the podcast, I will let you all know <laughs> and let you know, you know, what's happening as things occur, um, you know, during our time together. So so this is Quanisha Green signing off and go ahead right now, go click and listen to the next episode so that you can get some of this good knowledge and education. So I will talk to you soon. Bye. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and for more Black Woman CEO wisdom and expert tips, please visit blackwomanceo.com. So this is your host, Kwanisha Green, signing off. Until next time, remember, power is the ability to create your reality.